Hey guys, it's Boys and Makeup, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do these blinged out sneakers for your kids. This is the pair that I'm going to be showing you guys how I do. And there's plenty of different ways you could do these sneakers. Um, this is a more girly fashion princessy look um today i went and did these well i started doing them uh as you can see it's the same fabric that's on my desk so i traced the tongue of the sneaker and i cut out these pieces to match the sneaker size and i just figured i would place it in there um with this sneaker style, I'm going to try to go with a more urban look, as you can tell by the skulls. Um, the options are up to you. Uh, I already started studying out this sneaker here. Well, be jeweling it. And I haven't applied this hair yet. But, your option. You could also do the sneaker like this, which is usually how I do them. With this one, I purchased some patches from Walmart, and I basically hot glued the patch on there, and this is boa, and I basically hot glued the boa to the back of the sneaker, and of course this is Thule, and I made a little flab here to glue that inside, and these are resins, and these are little bows I made, and these are little pearls. Every all all this stuff is really affordable. With these, these are spikes that I got from 28th Street in Manhattan. And again, more pa um patches. Okay, so we're gonna start studying the sneaker out. Okay, let's get started. So to bejewel the sneaker, what you're gonna need is some. E6000, this is the E6000 that I have, which you can tell I use it a lot. And these are the stones that I have, the crystals. I brought this from Walmart, but I refill them with crystals that I order from eBay. There's a lot of them. I also have them in colors, which I use for the boys. So we're going to get started with that. Once I open the screw. Don't mind. I'm just like poking holes in it. I like to put it, pour some on the tray. I poured a little glue here. Then what I like to do. is apply some on the sneaker not too much but not too little and then I just take I usually take the tip with a bit of glue it's better the glue catches the rhinestones better and then I just stick the rhinestones on there like so the smaller the rhinestone, the longer it takes to complete the job. So I would suggest to go with bigger rhinestones. So I'm just going to keep doing this until the whole shoe is filled. Then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so I'm done applying the crystals. This is how they came out. very shiny okay with these sneakers I'm not gonna put any too much extra stuff on them I'm just gonna go with some bottle caps 
I don't want to make these sneakers too extreme. Okay, so these are the bottle cap images I have. I ordered these from eBay. I'll post the link below if you need it. And I also ordered these epoxy st stickers that go on top of the image. So I'm just going to place these on this side of the sneaker around. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun to do this. So I'm just going to place some hot glue on here. Turn that around, make sure it's the right way. And I'm going to stick that there. Make sure it sticks. Was like coming around it. So that's one. I'm gonna put a little less glue. For the rhinestones, I didn't use hot glue because that doesn't seem to last long on that plastic fabric, so I just used the E6000. Okay, so those three are enough. And all of these buttons are Juicy Couture. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to add resins to them. Because the style of the sneaker, if you want it, you could apply something like this. They have these things in all different. They have McDonald's little french fries. I'm just pouring them out. They have these. This is great for Halloween time. I would have matched a sneaker because it is skeleton. This is nice for this sneaker. I'll keep that to the side. They have little Chanel signs. I brought these in bulk. So I wasn't able to pick out which ones I got. They have this little thing. They have an ice cream, which I could use. The rest of the colors are really, they don't match the sneaker. So I think I'm going to go with the ice cream and probably maybe this one for this sneaker. And the other one I'll put on these. They don't have to match. Okay, so I'm going to use those two. And for that, all you have to do is hot glue it on. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think a fish. But I wouldn't put that because it doesn't really match. So we're going to go with those two. And I think I'm going to place one there on the bottom. I'm going to put it on here so... I can make sure it's in the right place. Oop. I'm going to put one here. A little ice cream. Again, you're saving so much money when you make these sneakers yourself. These sneakers that I'm using right now are not Converse, but they do resemble them a lot. These are the high top ones that are ordered, and they button down like this. But for these sneakers, I ordered them from, I believe it was a U.S. store. And I paid about 
$20 total where Converse's are really expensive. Well, not really. They run for about $30, $40. But this really saves you money. And if you purchase a pair of sneakers like this from online, you're going to be spending about $80, $90 around that price range where you could just make them yourself. I might put a few people out of business by teaching you guys this, but hey, it's a good trade to know. Maybe you could sell them yourself. And I think I'm going to put some pearls on them. These white pearls that I have. They look like this. So to put this, I just like to put the hot glue first. You have to be careful with hot glue because you know it's really messy. And you just stick this on there. Just like that. And you can add them all around. As many as you want to put. It looks nice. And you will get a lot of attention when your kid wears these sneakers. When my daughter wears them, everybody goes crazy. They're great for gifts if you want to give a kid in the family a nice present. Or it would go nice for a birthday outfit. Don't worry, this hot glue will clean up. I'll clean that up later, but right now I just want to show you guys how to make the sneaker. And my hot glue gun is kind of broken, so just bear with me. You could have used the other glue that I told you about, the E6000. It would last longer with that glue. I mean, when you have a daughter, she's not going to want to wear these sneakers just once. <laughs> she's going to want to wear them all the time. And then the things start to fall off. Okay, so you just keep adding them on there. Ugh, this one's like stuck to my finger. I think hot glue is so messy. That's why I don't really like it. Okay, so you just keep doing that as much as you want. You could add a hair bow to it. To the sneaker like I showed you in the beginning. I'll show you again how it would look. You could add boa to it. I mean, just get creative. And when the sneaker is finished, you will feel so good about yourself when you made such a great project. It would look like this, but that's not how I want to do it today. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with the pearls, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm finished with the tool. This is how it came out. This is how the back looks. This is how the front looks. Now what we're going to do is take a piece of ribbon or a fabric, whatever is your choice, and you're just going to glue it across where your hot glue is. And it's going to come out like that, so I'm just going to glue this right now. And you're gonna press that in there. This is definitely a good idea if you're gonna give them as a gift to somebody else. You don't want it. You want, you don't want it to look bad. You want it to look your perfect, your best. And as you can see, that looks awesome. 
I have feathers and stuff in here, but okay, so that's how the sneaker comes out. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. I don't want to apply any more stuff. I think this looks amazing. You got the juicy couture buttons in there. And that says some girls are just born winners. Juicy couture. And this is how the sneaker looks. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to this. Well, like this video and subscribe to me. Thank you so much. Bye.